Hey everyone, it's Pete from Ironclad, just coming to you today with another one of our quick update series where we tackle one issue, one problem, one question and deal with it in a very quick way. So, today, impact. I've dealt before with cut, cut five, and now the difference between EN series and the ANSI series and I need to address the same with impact because there is the same thing where EN has a certain part and ANSI has a certain part. So let's quickly jump in about impact protection, i.e. the back of the hand protection. EN388, they developed a pass or fail method. So they measure across the back of the knuckles, that's all they do, so just on the top of the knuckles, and they drop a big weight, big measuring machine, they drop a weight, and they measure how much force is transferred. They measure if the actual uh, impact has seven kilonewtons or more transferred through, then it's a fail. If it has less than that, then it passes. Simple, that's it, fail, pass. So it goes 4x44FP for pass, 4x44FF for fail, or 4x44F and nothing if they never tested for impact. So obviously if the glove doesn't have impact protection, they don't test it. But all it says is, yes, it has impact protection, and that's great, but it measures one part of the hand, that's it. The ANSI standard takes it a bit further. So we're talking ANSI and the ISEA 138. It's only been released not that long ago. And uh, it actually measures the knuckles and the fingers from there down. Doesn't measure the metacarpals, it just measures the knuckles and the fingers from there down. And again, similar principle, uh, but they've split it up like they did with the cut. They split it up into different levels, a bit more than the Europeans did. And they said there's three levels. Huh? three levels. And they said um, if it gets uh, under four kilonewtons pressure, then it'll get a rating three. It means it's really good. If it's under six and a half kilonewtons, which is virtually the same as the European at seven, uh, then it'll get a level two. And if it can do nine kilonewtons or under, then it'll get a level one and obviously nothing if it's above nine. So if it doesn't transfer that force through, uh, or if it lets too much force through, then obviously it fails. So there you go. They have three levels. That's ANSI, one three eight uh, for the you know basically the American standard. <clears throat> then you come to the final standard. Now this isn't a global body. This is ironclad Kong, and this is what we've had right from the start. We never shy away from this. This is our bread and butter. This is what we do. And so on your Kong standard, our ironclad standard, we measure three points. We don't measure just one point. We call it our ironclad global standard, and we measure the metacarpals, the knuckles and the fingers and the fingertips. We measure the whole lot and we always have. That's what we developed. And so we can give you data relating to exactly every one of our gloves right back to how it's designed and what the actual impact protection is. You know, we give you 10 times impact protection on the knuckles. We give you a six times impact protection on the metacarpals and we can give you up to three times on your fingertips, which is where a lot of the damage is. We have a patented fingertip protection. So there's some really good reasons to talk to us about your impact protection and what your gloves need to do. We have different levels of impact protection, so some are low profile, so you can get your hands into certain situations and still pull them out with the glove on it rather than leaving the glove in there. We have our Indy, which has got high vis, and it's our IVE, which is specifically targeted for your eye fatigue. So there's a number of reasons like that. We'd love to talk to you about your hand impact protection. But there you have it. There's the three levels. Quick update. There's our update series. Uh, EN388 2016, one, one level. Uh, ANSI uh, 138 is two levels. And the Ironclad Global Standard, full back of hand protection. Love to talk to you about it. Comments below. Give us your emails. Let me know what you want to talk about next. Thanks for watching. Bye.